Hello guys, it's Rod and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rod Kutarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, February 11th to uh, February 17th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be just a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different level with... Um, the different Scorpios. Uh, and so uh, one more thing I want to say here is that for the month of February uh, I have um, slashed down the prices of my services so I can become more accessible to the people who really need guidance because uh, well throughout the past year really there were too many people addressing that issue and uh, simply I sat down with uh, with my financial advisor, you know, and uh, with my manager, with my team in general. And so we figured out that we should give it a go. We should try it out to see how it's going to go. So, yeah, uh, if you try to have a personal reading with me, but... Uh, the price didn't fit really uh, with your budget then uh, you can have a look now at my website listed down below in the description of this video and uh, you may find the, find the new prices attractive who knows so uh, that being said going to the tarot spread and uh, this is going to be a four card tarot spread an enhanced one so we're going to draw additional card per position but the first card that we do have for us Scorpios, which is about the topic of our week, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. Followed by the second card, which is the negative approach we can take toward the situation or what we should not do regarding the situation. This is the Five of Wands. Third card uh, that we do have for us Scorpios, which is the positive approach toward the situation. That will be the Page of Pentacles. And the last one, this is going to be the outcome of growth. Should we follow the advice that Tsaro is giving to us? We have the five of one of the five of swords. So we do have double fives in the spread, so it's a changing time. And uh it's pretty straightforward reading the way I see it here, guys, with these cards. So once again, Queen of Wands, uh, then it is the Five of Wands, followed by the page of pentacles and lastly we do have the five of swords lovely okay so i'm going to leave them for now at my desk and uh we're going to indulge in each single card um as we go through the spread but uh this will be a uh, just from the overlook here from the overview that is going to be a week where you're going to regain and maintain huge confidence it's all about that it's about boosting our confidence for throughout the week so uh the topic that we do have that is going to be like i said the queen of wands and uh, we do have a woman coming around we may know her already uh or uh, she could be you know she could be around us or it could be a completely new person coming in but what is uh, important for this woman is that she has a huge amount of self-confidence. That first thing. Um, second of all, she really knows how to be successful. And also she has that acute sense of how to uh, enjoy life as well. So we don't have only business partner or relationship partner here in any case, but also you're a very good friend, someone who is going to enjoy spending time with us. But the big thing about this card is that this person here, the Queen of Wands, she sees the goodness and the negativity into one person. Or in other words, she sees the advantages and the weaknesses or the strengths and the weaknesses that one has. That combined with her acute business sense, because she knows how to prevail, she does have a, a huge leadership abilities. And I'm not saying about tyrannical abilities, but leadership abilities. With that, she can uh, truly help you to entirely utilize, excuse me, and hopefully after that, capitalize on your skills 
your knowledge, your business, your relationship, you name it, depending on what your career is, uh, depending on what your situation is, excuse me. But uh, the, best, uh, the best field that this woman can play, it's the career field. Okay, so uh, basically what we do have here is a partnership, a person that comes around, you may already know that person, all right, which points you a direction of how you can um, m maximize the benefits from your labor, you know, or for, from your commitment, from your relationship, or from... Um, from your career as well and all comes to confidence and we're going to see that with uh, the next card that comes around but the, the the big deal here is let me draw one additional card to that we do have the seven of wands here with the uh, queen of wands so the shade that seven of wands adds to the queen of wands uh, is that she will as well teach you how to withstand your positions very important which has as well a, a huge um relevance excuse me to the uh to the confidence that one person has so you do have something in your mind or, or you do have a, a set go in front of yourself and uh finding it difficult to withstand that position all right because maybe people will try to bring you down or try to make you feel incapable and so on and so forth and bang that person comes around and truly uncovers what you are really capable of uh, but as well is going to point you what you're simply not prepared to go for. So it's kind of like a, um, a a week through which, like I said, that person, it's, um, it's point you where uh, and will help you as well to be or will, uh, but the very, the most, blah, 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 blah. the very best is going to point you where and how you can be most uh, productive. So, uh, Going to the next card, which is uh, the five of wands, and that will be the negative approach that um, you can take toward the situation. First of all, uh, the very generic uh, interpretation of this uh, for that follow up here is that you simply laugh at her, saying, Yeah, like the hell you know, I mean, you will tell me what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the hell I want, you know. And so you don't listen to what she has to tell you or you basically don't take under consideration her recommendations and so on and so forth. And the worst thing that you can do here is not take uh, her help as well because that is something like a uh, help. Just to give you an example to make myself more clearer, all right, so let's say you're trying to establish or you have a dream to establish a, a private business and you never shared that dream with anybody, all right, but um, in, in Tuesday, let's say you socialize with a close friend of yours and from a word to word, you know, you share uh, your ideas that you want to become, for example, a um, promoter. Okay, to promote a product of big company. And as that friend, for example, has her own business, then she can say, well, you know, you can definitely do that. But before that, you can uh, first, uh, you know, achieve this thing and then that thing so you can prepare yourself and so on and so forth. Basically, that, that, that person is going to give you the recipe of success, all right? But she cannot achieve that success for you. She can give you once again the recipe, but you have to kind of follow that recipe. Here with the five of wands, it is where you approach that recipe with uh, a huge sense of mistrust. You're skeptical about it and you hope that miraculously the things are going to happen for you, but by a chance, you know, on, on their own accord. Having the five of wands into a negative position, it means that there won't be any happy coincidences or any happy circumstances or any around turns on their own unless you do not create them. There won't be a many surprises unless you do not create them. So simply in this case, uh, the five of wands here uh, asks you to uh, approach her recipe for success uh, with a little bit more... Um, what is the word? 
kind of like to uh, approach this uh, this recipe with a little bit more maturity, okay? And truly try to listen to what she has to tell you and do not argue, do not go into Rango. I mean, this woman, she knows what she's capable of and uh, she have, I think, achieved a lot. So you're not the person who can actually give her a critical feedback and uh, basically keep that critical feedback for yourself and instead take under consideration what she has to tell you. With the five of wands, maybe it's going to go outside of your box, all right? So it will be a, um, a recipe that involves you being open-minded and being ready to do some unstandard maneuvers here and readopting your strategy, but it will be necessary for you to become successful. The uh, additional card to the uh, Five of Wands here, this is the King of Cups. And uh, with that card, uh, when the King of Cups, we do have a, an active enemies. And the King of Cups, it uh, asks you here to be rather a bit more um, open to develop that thing in the long term. What I mean is that when we do have the King of Cups as an active enemy to the Five of, uh, to the five of Wands, you should um, completely exclude any hope that something will happen in your favor if you don't contribute for it, like on its own accord, once again, like uh, based on luck. For example, you want to be emotionally involved, but you're single, okay? So if that's uh, the case, then this woman is going to boost your confidence of how pretty you are, what presence you do have. Also, she is going to give you the recipe of flirting and so on and so forth. But if you hope that uh, basically the right woman or the right guy is going to come for you on their own accord throughout this week, no, I mean, you got to go out and socialize. They aren't going to jump through your window in your kind of like, you know, in your bedroom um, in a shiny evening and they being with a shiny armor. So you have to follow those, uh, those advices that this woman is to give you uh, without having a, a huge amount of skepticism uh, toward her. As well with the, the with the King of Cups now that I'm thinking about it, uh, you should not abuse her help, but you should show gratitude for it. Because uh, the Queen of Wands usually it's a, a person with a rather a quick temper and a, a very short patience. So if you don't show an appreciation to that she wants to point you the road the uh, the route to success she will stop doing it basically and you're gonna be left not empty-handed really but without a a very powerful ally because that is what she is a, a powerful ally and as i said she likes to enjoy and socialize and so on and so forth uh it will be as well a, a very very good friend of yours i mean you can make that awesome friendship in case you aren't friends at all so the next card that we do have for you, Scorpio, this is going to be the uh, Page of Pentacles. And uh, that is the positive approach you can take toward the situation. And it is as simple as that devotion, guys. Devotion and as well determination to make slow and steady, uh, steady success. Also, you have to approach all the endeavors or the steps that this recipe toward success contains with a... Uh, young in spirit behavior it's kind of like more enthusiastic than usual but not foolishly enthusiastic so it's it's more like uh, you should adopt the standpoint that you're looking forward to it okay and uh, approach these matters with a, a huge portion of interest as well and uh, simply what this this card also points here is that you are going to see how much your talents worth uh, really, as soon as you um, start following her recipe to success, because her recipe to success is rather a bit uh, more universal one, but it has to be approached with the right amount of patience, 
okay? You cannot expect with the page of uh, pentacles in this position, you cannot expect that things are going to happen overnight or that they are going to miraculously emerge uh, as you do ha have such powerful ally. I mean, it will, the, uh, the benefits from you following these steps are going to unfold based and according to your performance. And with the Page of Pentacles, you got to be rather meticulous. You got to be very devoted if you do want to achieve the same success that this woman has. And as well, um, you have to be calculative in a sense of that uh, because she ain't going to hold your hand, all right? I mean, she's just going to point you the direction. But in this direction uh, that you are going to go, there will be as well distractions. There are going to be... Uh, 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 on endeavors that simply are unworth your time and so on and so forth. So with this card, you got to be, uh, you got to know how much you're worth and not waste your time uh, with endeavors that are simply ain't worth it. The additional card that we do have, this is the star and uh, we do have a passive enemies. So you don't, basically with these couple of cards, you don't have to wait for the pleasant time to come around. It, it already had, all right? It, the pleasant time is already here. And uh, I just, it is waiting for you to, to grasp on it and to start working on it. Because once again, ain't gonna happen on its own accord. Uh, the star card points that uh, you should not hope for any support. Uh, further support or rather like new support you should not hope for a something to look something new to look forward to because you already have it okay you already have it as this woman is going to point you to it and that reading is especially powerful by the way for those who lost uh, their drive for life that happens usually when you go through a, a very severe breakup with uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or you lost the, the, the dream job and so on and so forth. At that point, pe person, one person just doesn't, want, doesn't see any point living. Well, with these cards here, that's um, worth of life or rather like your life will become worth living again as soon as this woman comes around enter in your life and uh, shows you how much you actually worth and whatever you have lost should you lost anything recently uh, it simply walked away from you because either the, that person that walked away from you or the job that you were in does not deserve you you can go beyond that in a much more productive fields with these cards but that is again only if you listen to this woman and you take her recipe for success very very seriously and the last card that we do have this is the five of swords the card of growth should you follow this advice so first of all uh this card will uh with this card you will realize i'm sorry that i'm repeating myself but these cards are just repetitive with one another as a follow-up and they just consolidate on one another so you first of all are going to find out how much you're worth and how far you can go so this woman here told you how far you can go but as the situation unfolds now at the end of the week we are having you you knowing how far you can go you will know what you can do and what you cannot do who you can be with and who you cannot be with all right and the best thing with that is that following this recipe for success from this woman uh, is going to make you aware how powerful you are or is going to make you capable to use correctly your powers, emotional powers, productive powers, and so on and so forth, which will allow you to severely increase the bar of your limits. Guys, okay? so you are going to surpass your current limits with the Five of Swords. Is everybody going to be happy? Unlikely, but it's going to be your victory and following this recipe for success, Five of Swords is not going to give you bits of victory. It's going to give you the pure victory where there is a winners and there is losers. Well, you are going to be the winner. And as there are winners, 
there has to be as well losers. That's why um, it has a little bit of a shade of ruthlessness here, so you shouldn't be way too concerned for those who lose to you, okay? And just move on uh, from there. And lastly, uh, as a shade to the card, uh, we do have the Eight of uh, Cups, so we do have active neutrals here. And uh, one more thing is that the more you follow her steps, the steps that she points you or the steps that she leads you uh, on, uh, the more you are going, the new perspective, the better perspective or the right path for you will start materializing. With this combo, the, um, the true path for you will not materialize entirely for you throughout this week, but you are getting there. Uh, basically, what, what you are to initiate with the manifestation of the final outcome is that you're gonna leave the poignant past or the fraction of that past of yours which is poignant to you with something much better, substituting it with something much better. I'm not saying replacing, or maybe I should say replacing. Yeah, replacing is kind of like you may replace, you know, one friendship with additional hobby. It's not like, um, walking away from one thing and taking the same. We are talking about replacement here, or it is substituting. I think it's substitution. I don't know. So I got to check in the, dic in the dictionary. Yeah, but I hope you, you, you get what I'm saying. So it's kind of like you're going to feel, um, you're going to fill up the empty spots into your environment, into your, um, into your agenda and um, in your confidence. So if you lack confidence right now as you're watching this in the beginning of the week, well, just be aware of this person that is to come around, grasp on them, and they will boost your confidence huge time. By the way, I am seeing that happening with me and uh, my manager. Probably my manager is going to call me in a couple of days and... Uh, share some ideas, you know, recipe for success and so on and so forth. We're going to see about it, but yeah, probably this is how it's going to manifest for me. I'm giving myself for an example because I am a Scorpio, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of need it, you know, for one thing or another, but uh, yeah, I, that was the tarot reading for you, Scorpios, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. That was the general reading for Scorpio for February 11th to February 17th. 2019 and uh, uh, once again guys uh, for the month of February all the prices of my services are slashed down reduced massively so I can become accessible accessible more to the people who truly need me especially those who are facing financial difficulties and, and they need guidance so if you try to have a reading with me but uh, the pricing for my services did not fit with your budget have a look right now and maybe uh, you're gonna find the new pricings for the month of february attractive rat signing out now see you next time bye